Guys, I can't believe it. It's been right in front of us this whole time. We've had Lamort Mon this whole time. Just look. Look right here. I mean, it, he's been around for forever. I mean, uh, Skylanders, it's gone through all the different worlds, all the different... Oh my gosh. It... Is, was he really a Digimon the whole time? Does this mean I'm a Skylanders or Digimon? Oh, we got Spyrodramon now? Oh. Wow. All right. And that's a, he's a toy so small, he's just in the champ rookie form? Yeah. All right. Get on it, Toys for Bob. Bandai, we're on to you. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 35 of Digimon Ghost Game. Werewolf. Oh, werewolves in London. Don't sue us. <laughs> He's so, dead. He won't wait for him. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> so, anyone who has seen our episodes before, you are well aware we go very in-depth into these episodes. So if you're worried about spoilers, you may wish to turn around and come back at a later time. So now, let us dive right into episode 35 of Digimon Ghost Game, which begins with... The same opening narration we've gone all the way back to episode 2. Yep. Nothing's changed. And at least something somewhat changes this episode, kind of. But, <laughs> so we begin with the formula. Oh yeah. Man is running away through the woods and it sounds like something is chasing him through, through the bushes. He falls over and we hear a crunching as, he go, as we fade to black. And we see some police cars and an ambulance looks like it's driving away. And this old lady mysteriously is like, the summer rain curses upon us. Yes. What was he doing out in the woods? You know yes. it better. Uh, um, okay. Yep, 100 year curse. And we're back to our main cast. Yep, and it's, and it's per formula. Yep, we're back to the main cast. And they are somewhere. <laughs> yeah. They're in a podunk town kind of thing, yep. it seems like. Quick little yeah. town, as Keel likes to call it. Yeah. That people are definitely staring at them, and they seem to think it's because, well, they have holograms, because, you know, how could they possibly hide these holograms so that, you know, no one could see them? No, no possible way. It wasn't a big deal for, like, the first ten episodes or any. <laughs> no. Ghost game, everybody! Yep. So this mysterious woman walks by, older lady walks by, and... And while they're talking, they hear Ruli's last name, Sukiano or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a tsunami. Yeah, something like that. She looks back and goes, "Oh, you're one of them, huh? You you have Kazuko's eyes." Kazuko's, yeah. And keeps walking, and Ruli's like, "Wait, Grandma Kazuko?" Now so, again, we don't know the name of her parents, but we know the name of probably her probably her paternal grandmother. I'm Probably, yeah. In the, in Given this how this case. episode goes, probably your paternal grandmother. Yeah. But we get to see or hear her names of her actual parents. But Yeah, so, oh, okay. But before they can really talk to that lady some more, a red truck pulls up and... Mm -hmm. Oh, Sakura! Hi! This is my... Uh, my... He tries to explain it, but basically it's, don't worry about it, I'm just a relative. Yeah, yeah. Which some, I'm quite okay with. Some long-distant relation... So they start climbing in, and Gamamon's all like, I want to sit up front. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, wow, they're so realistic. Yeah. Same Kyoshiro skill. wants to, you know, introduce himself, and he's like, no, we'll do that later. Let's get out Just of here. Just get in, yeah. And, uh, okay. And so, yeah, people are really on edge about holograms. Oh, why? And we cut to a moment later where Kyo's like, werewolves? There's a legend of werewolves here? Why did you tell me this? I only agreed to come because you said it was a vacation. <laughs> And so he's freaking out and really just like, real or not, it sounds interesting. It sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure if they came here because of vacation or if really came here to investigate this mystery. But it's... considering how little she knows about this mystery, as we learn, I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah. I, I, I'm guessing she just came to visit family. <laughs> I guess, because I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. It's... Never really explained. So after freaking out enough about this werewolf legend, she's like, oh, hey, who's, you know, like an expert on it? Where, who can we go to talk to? And apparently they take her there because we cut to them. <laughs> That's where they're next scene. In the next scene. And it's the old lady from that was walking there before. But she was walking. How did she get here before? I don't that? think it's the same lady. I think it's a different one. No? This is the one that's telling not to go in the woods at the beginning. No. I think it's a different one. 
But we can compare screenshots. So yeah. I really care. I thought it was. But, so, she just... But Ghost Game would never break the lore <laughs> and do something incredibly logical. Yeah. Oh, it, quick, come in. Yeah, don't leave the door open. And we see her grandson lying there. Turns out his name is Kenta. Not that it matters, because this is Ghost Game. You will never... <laughs> is him being relevant again or extremely slim? slim? And he leans up in his bed, and he's got this purple mark on his arm. Similar to like when we've seen Mon Mon yeah, we've seen grab people. Yeah, we've seen this several times. That this is basically, a, what happens to him when they get attacked by Digimon? Yeah, I mean, this one glows a little more than some of the others have, but it's still the same pattern. It's yeah. the same concept. I see the manga, oh, gee, yeah, it was a Digimon. Yeah. Now there's no doubt it was a Digimon. Yeah, and he's all like, Ruli, you need to do, please, please do something. Give me do something. something. And they begin to explain that her family, apparently, in ancient times, were rulers here. Yeah. Which explains town. why they always seem to have some decent money. Yeah. They always got the person that, the person that her family is fairly well to do. Mm-hmm. And so, apparently, every 100 years, her family, Ruli's family, would offer up a maiden to the werewolf. Yes. Every 100 years during the summer rains. And... Ruli is shocked by this. It's, yes. It seems very clear she has never been told anything about this before, even though it's all about her family. family. Sacrificing maidens. Maidens, and... Yeah, it, you think at some point, you tell your parents to tell you, hey, daughter, you might want to stay away from this crazy <laughs> town. You want to sacrifice our family. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that just slipped her mind for a decade. Yeah. And meanwhile, the other Digimon are trying to eavesdrop but only in Goromon's in invisible form, so he's trying to gag the other ones, even though they can go invisible too. Too. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, why make these different forms when they haven't used them? They're we different states. Not, almost never done anything creative with it. Yeah. And, and so they are... After hearing about this, we fast forward to the night, and we see... A bunch of workers, repairmen, I guess, repairmen, staring at a wall, and there are giant I mean, yeah. claw marks. Huge, yeah, marks in here. I mean, take a bear, multiply it by like ten, <laughs> the yeah. size of these freaking claw marks. I mean, it is yeah. absolutely huge. It's torn through what looks like probably metal, steel, and all of the wires behind it just slash through it, and even they're going. Is that a bear? No, nah, that's that's way that's way too big for a bear. All right, well let me let me go look for some tools or whatever. And while well, one of them's off, there's the howling and screaming, mm -hmm. and he comes back uh, and werewolf kind of makes a brief appearance. Yeah, you see a really, really, really good view of it, but you know, standard horror cliche. Yeah, you get a little bit of. Cl I think you get its maw. That's about it. <laughs> And, yeah, he comes back, and you can see, I mean, it's even on their faces, on their arm. They were attacked. Yep. And so people are uh, definitely freaking out. But you have reason to be in, uh, worried here. Yeah. So we cut back they're to going. our group, and was... we're doing dishes after dinner. I guess they're staying with the crazy grandma. They're staying with Sakura. Sakura is at least in that house. Yeah, are they in the same house with her? Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not even sure. Because they're going to her, saying, like, we heard the descendants here. You should be doing something. Why aren't you doing something? And so Angoramon turns to Hero and is like, do werewolves exist in the human world? I don't and Hero's think like, no. so. They shouldn't. And amazingly enough, Angoramon doesn't know this. Yeah. I mean, he knows about Polaroid pictures, but he doesn't know werewolves are not real. I mean, I mean it could just be a, you know, double-checking, like, they, they don't exist, right? <laughs> It's not how he phrases it, though. So. Yeah. I mean, quite, I'm okay with him actually not knowing something, but... Yeah. About, you know, we've seen he reads so book, books and stories about swordsmen and stuff. I would think you'd have heard of the world by now. Yeah. Well, if this has been going on for six centuries or however, for centuries... Dude, this happens every century, yeah. This can't really be a Digimon, can it? Because <laughs> and if it's... Been, and yeah, that is Digimon a, have not been here for this. That's a good point. And this is a real good point, except for you saw the Digimon <laughs> bruise. It's a Digimon, Angoramon. <laughs> yes. If it wasn't for that, I would you know, understand what you're thinking. But you saw the Telltale Mark, and it's a Digimon. Yes. And, and just 
really is like, I don't care if it's a superstition or whatever. I'm, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We ain't gonna help. I don't find it. Yep. Yep. So we move ahead to the next day, and they check out the scene where Jellymon takes a picture of the claws, and they go, "Oh my gosh, that is that's a big one. That's big. What is that? I don't know. This is hurting people." And so Senpai's all like, uh, we need to leave. We should go, yeah. And I was like, no, I can't run away. And he's like, uh, lady, they want to sacrifice you. We should leave. Yeah, even Hero's like, you know, I think Senpai's got a point. <laughs> this, this seems like a terrible idea. And Ruli is just stubborn. Will not happen, no. Leaving would be like losing. And leaving because feel... of all superstition would be like losing. I feel and then a... she seems to have a vision. She looks into the forest and sees like a trail of blood. A little blood puddles going into the woods and, and then some archers so, so, some shouting and like four different arrows suddenly come shooting out towards her she like screams and falls down to her knees and we don't it doesn't seem like any of this yeah, gorman can't see it so you ask what's wrong yeah he runs up to her and is like what's wrong and whatever it was about that vision it seems to make her not scared no nope, in fact it makes her more determined to actually go back and say what do I need to do? Yeah, what I need to do for this sacrifice, right. this ritual. And so she volunteers. Cheers. Again, this is Ruli. This is who? Yeah. <laughs> On the first side, this is in character for, for her. <laughs> Recklessly brave, which is, we saw. Promise mm -hmm. some live episode she's not this. She seemed to forget this is what she's supposed to be. Yeah. See the Splash Mon episode. Yeah, Beauty Mon Monster Especially. Serum. Beauty Mon Monster Beauty Serum. Yes. Mon yes. Link about. Yeah. And so that's our commercial break. Mm -hmm. And we kind of sort of built something up, but not much has happened as many times. And so we see her being carried in. I call it a car, almost like a carriage thing, but there's no horses. People, a couple yeah, I'm guys sure, are carrying it. I'm, I'm sure, sure there's a name it has for it. It has a name, thank you. Yeah, okay, cool. Future Roger can learn something. Today you learned. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're two people are carrying it mostly. and are you are you angry with me and Goramon? No, I'm not angry. But he says something very a nice line very telling line that courage and recklessness are not the same I thing. I don't think courage and recklessness are the same thing. Yeah. And before this there was a yeah. pretty flashback about her going, Well I don't really mean to be being sacrificed, so I'm just gonna call out the thing. And yeah, you guys will be there, it'll be fine. Which again is fine. If they knew that was the plan. Yeah. You just decided this on them. Yeah, yeah. They don't they don't talk about it. She's she's just taking charge here and just going a mile a minute. I mean people are getting attacked. I can understand why she feels some yeah. need to move, but yeah also, yeah, you're a team here. So they get to the spawn, Granny comes with them because she wants to make sure she doesn't run away. Okay. He's saying you have to pray to our giraffe and thankfully they uh, tell me that means midnight. midnight. Yeah, I've been, honestly I had no idea. I've been told my whole life how to do this sacrifice, so I know and she starts taking her towards the shrine and Rilla's like ah don't worry there's no werewolf here and then there's a howl mm -hmm. that clearly um something is definitely here and she is a little she finally seems at least a little uh nervous about it which even for Ruli I can understand when <laughs> suddenly the thing starts to reveal itself that so it reveals itself and Gorman immediately recognizes it. Oh, it's Mandacorman. It's supposed to, it's always with an angel Digimon. Where why, why is, is it this, not? Why is it not? So being the great team they are about having people as be bait, <laughs> Mandacorman sits here, smacks Granny across the room. Oh, just <laughs> the digital field? Nah, we don't like Granny. This is an ultimate doing what uh Angoramon did to Hero in episode three. <laughs> yeah. <Bam! laughs> grabs really and takes it down, grabs really and takes, takes off. off. And so and Gorman flies off after. Yeah. And, give chase, but and everyone else is give a chase. At least Hero does stop by and say, Hey you two, take her to the hospital yeah. <laughs> before it's too late. And they don't argue. Yeah, <laughs> they, they don't want to go fight the run after man to Gorman. Yeah. And so they go chasing so they go chasing after it. Ruli's still standing up to it. She's not like even trying to hide or run. She's just, well, she just kinda gets dropped at this point. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and Gorman comes flying in, and you see Bell fall, and get Bell Gammon coming in shortly after. Yes, the only champion evolution we actually get here is Simba. Bellmon and and uh, Tesla Jellymon just show up. There's Already not even been, yeah. there's not even the sequence where it's like, okay, fine, I don't. Yeah, no, no problem. I've seen it enough times. I don't really care. Just oh, that's unusual. <laughs> first time they, I think the first time they haven't done that yet. Yeah. yeah. And gee, the the battle doesn't go real well. Bell gets 
stun him really quickly because it's Manicor, and it's yeah, he's only a champion against. Though again, they have never mentioned levels at any point in this season, so I don't even know if they really understand them themselves. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he gets stabbed and like, oh, it's a poison. Oh, poison, and oh my gosh, that is Mon exists. Yeah, she is real. She's she not just a fever dream. <laughs> so we immediately get her teleporting again with her really quick speed and. This thing's faster than teleporting, apparently. Yeah, she, and she has the, she had no attack where she like uses her shoots her arms a long noodle thing. Yeah. Not even the head tentacles. It's yeah, a long arm. rocket arm. Yeah, yeah it was uh, kind of bizarre looking. Yeah, and uh, she gets stung too because well, this thing's apparently just that fast and that good. Yeah, and she's like, oh well, at least now I can make the antidote, which is fine. And she showed she could make an antidote, but she could neutralize poisons with Topiarmon before. She was stung. She yeah, just before she did it. <laughs> got infected with it. But okay, okay, fine. I'll sure. give you this. Sure. This is what she's doing. If we need her out of the story a little bit, we'll give her this to do. Yep. All right, I'll give you that. Yeah. And so Simba and Gormon's like the only one left at the moment, so he breaking streams, tries to go against its breath attack, because this is one of those Digimon that doesn't talk, so we don't know its attacks, really. And, gee, it's an ultimate against a champion attack. He holds it there for a moment, but then gets slammed by it. It goes through one, two, three, like four <laughs> different trees. Just smash. Oh, it looks it looked painful. It looks painful. So now pretty much the team's down and yeah. out. And so then Ruli's recklessness has led us here because we've not, you know, really studied what this thing is. Yeah. No idea. We studied the area around me here so it could set a trap or anything. And she's still just standing there, ready to <laughs> keep going. What does she do? It's one of us, he realizes it's a Digimon. He says, well, you're not a curse or super anything unusual so i can beat you it just mopped the floor of your team <laughs> the entire team what what makes you <laughs> why are you mouthing off to it yeah it, it does it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what i won't back down we will win and she's just still being the reckless yeah. girl she's been and then goramon sits up and says we break through and we get an ultimate yay character growth what I mean, ultimates are big deals. This is where you really get your pivotal moments for yeah, your characters. At least it's how it should be. And, and I know each series is different, but and and Keo, I thought did he had a decent yeah decent he had story a for that. really good moment. Everyone afterward has forgotten that moment apparently. But... And and then Hero at least Hero had was, the sharing the pain thing was yeah. okay together. His, his, his was all right. At least this they is, tried. They didn't even try here. This is. Nothing. This is being rewarded for being reckless, for yeah. not growing. Yeah. Well, I mean, we might not want to say it's such a reward because as we find him digivolving, yeah. we see yes. a Mormon. I think the T's silent. Yeah. What a stupid looking Digimon. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I think I think he's the my least favorite of the Ultimates. Yeah. I. It's, he's a fuzzball. He's, he's got it, fuzzball, but he's got bad ears and kind of bat wings and a. Tail that doesn't fit. He's lost most of the bunny now. <laughs> and most of his fingers look way too small for his gauntlet hand. Yeah. It's just very odd. <laughs> and even really, in this screenshot, I was saying his name, I swear looks disappointed. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. A moron. A moron. <laughs> I like people and with dragons and <laughs> angels. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Protect, Rully. <laughs> and I mean, he's. A very elegant, you know, very well spoken. You're expecting the Simba and Gorman mm -hmm. looks very much like a gentleman in all ways. Yes. Alpha kind of looks like a tuxedo uh -huh. and how he carries himself. And now we get this that is quite the opposite. Yeah, violent, brutish, can barely speak. And the poor Which, one, did we get a dark digivolution here? Yeah. I mean, it does kind of fit. If you think Kulos is Gamamon's real form, to go to Kano Weissman is very different. Jellymon being the brat and kind of, you know, very teasing, and going to an angel is very different. And so this has continued that pattern, if you think Kubos is the real one. Because <laughs> otherwise, Gammon to Kano is not a huge... I mean, it's still more mature, but it's not a huge, you know, complete 180 like a lot of these ultimates have been. Which, again, could be cool if I felt they would do something <laughs> with it. If it meant something, somehow. Yeah, but I don't think so. But anyway, now that he's an ultimate, he locks uh, hand to hand with this Mandacoromon, 
And we've talked about how big Man of Cormon is. So I thought Lamortmon was just a cute little fuzzball. He's a big no, freaking he's the fuzzball. Same size. He's at least the size of Cano, not bigger. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I was thinking, you know, Pixie Mon level. Just, ah! But no. <laughs> no. Bite your kneecaps off. Pretty much. No. No, not he's at all. He's a big boy. Yeah. He's a big boy. And to and be fair, he doesn't one shot Man of Cormon. He grabs him. He, like, shuts his mouth on his own breath weapon and makes him, like, choke on it. However, he never gets hit by Manicormon. No. He does not. Makes him choke on it and then just starts using his attack. I don't... Sliced in claws. Yeah, uh, very simple. I think they might even said his name, but I don't know. Yeah, she does say it's its name, but it's another one of the names of these attacks in this <laughs> season that are... What? <laughs> I don't remember yet. And he just slashes... And knocks him down, and slashes, and slashes while he's down. It just keeps... Yeah, relentless. He's relentless. Like very violent. Yeah, and his, his words are very basic of just, protect, really, you know, just very... Berserker, very simple. And now, because, you know, this is Ghost Game. Oh, man, he's tearing into him. This is dark. Oh, this is Kulos again. He's gonna deli... No, 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 this is Ghost Game. No, no. So literally... From the heavens, yes. you hear a voice say, wait, stop. And much my amazement, Lamorma does. does. I guess there's enough of Angoramon left in so there. So I guess it's not a Dark Desert Evolution. No. I guess this is just really what we get. And we see Darkmon, D-Arkmon. Mm. Sometimes it's seen a hyphenated, so I think it is D-Arkmon. Yeah, I think so. Is one of the un D -Arc. more unusual Angel Digimon. For some of you, I'm, I bet you that's your first time seeing this Digimon. Yep, you have. If you're really, if you're deep in Digimon, you've seen her in the Frontier movie. Oh yes. And she's not bring. She didn't bring her psychedelic party tank with her. I'm so disappointed because that could have saved the episode right there. Yes. <laughs> she's in Digimon World DS, yeah, or World Championship. Championship. Yeah. Yep. So she has had some appearances, and as soon as she shows up, Lamormon gets off of him. Like, seems to sulk in the corner for a moment. And then he digivolves back to Angoramon. So, whatever was that Berserker, it was able to switch off, like, instantly. Yeah. Huh. Again, there could be something here. I'm not there convinced be, that yeah. Ghost Game will do that. But that could be something. And so, as he, as he shrinks down, Ruli comes over and just... Immediately goes to hug him from behind, and yeah. she's, she's not scared of him at all, you know. Yeah. After seeing that, I, I, I probably would be a little bit. <laughs> and this is really, and she was just rewarded for being reckless, so. So, yeah, so. Why not? So, of course. And I know he's mostly, he's saying he's big fluff ball, but. I mean, the way his arms uh, stick through, <laughs> it's like he got ran through. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I get what they're going for, but. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it just does not look right. <laughs> but regardless, the Archmon says, oh. Manicormon ate some bad data yeah. about the local legend. So, so he became the legend. Yeah. So he became evil because he is something he ate. Okay. What? He ate data? Oh, okay, huh? I mean, yeah, I've seen Digimon eat data before, but never... <laughs> become what the data was on, based on. But yeah. sure, it's, it's Ghost Game, yeah. happy ending, yay. Yeah, and they're just like, okay, make sure you keep keep a hold of him, make sure he doesn't attack people anymore. You have my word as an angel, and that I, I won't. won't. Yeah. <laughs> that I won't. Goodbye. And just fades into the heavens. Don't bother asking about, how did you get here? Can you take us there? Where? Are more things come in? What's it like there? Are things falling apart there? I mean, it, they went the same place that the Deva went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's basically what it seemed like, so... Oh. Okay. Yeah, remember that plot that went nowhere too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so we kind of wrap up, and we're driving back. Yeah, and again, we kind of have flashbacks to the legend of the werewolf before. Where well, why we care about the legend at this point is beyond me. Yeah, where she's talking to the granny that was there at the at the sacrifice site and telling about the first yeah, one. She's look as they drive away. She's looking down over to the balcony. So she survived the attack by Manicormon. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yay. Yeah, and she and it's all like, yeah, supposedly the the werewolf, you know, was still at least partially human and the first moon maiden fell in love with the werewolf, but people feared the werewolf and couldn't it was still a werewolf, so they had to hunt it down. And one of the arrows accidentally struck the maiden and killed her. 
and as we're looking out, we hear some odd noises in the woods. Do we? Yeah. I thought we just saw the woods. Yeah. I don't know if there's any odd noises. Because Hero asks, like, what's up, really? And she's like, it's nothing. I mean, it could just be her visions again. And not, not even any yeah, real thing. Yeah, because back was another vision from her. Yeah. The visions you get before come from the man of Cormon. Is there something here? Because it's not like you see a silhouette of a werewolf or howl, no. of, a mo- uh, howl of a wolf or anything. No. It just feels like it's frying the pad to run time. Yeah. So was that, is there anything to this curse? Even if there is, will it matter because it's ghost game? No. No. It will, it will not. So we get a new ultimate. I will prob- We will probably see Lamormon again. Yes. Uh, Other than that, why will I remember this episode? It's a really disappointing nothing. episode other than that. Yeah, there, there's nothing here to... Nothing here to really remember. But what's the next episode? I'm sure it'll be better. Oh, right? yes, yes. The Labyrinth of Grief. And it shows them looking like they're going through caves or well, probably labyrinths, some underground type area. And it's all talking about, you know, well, once you enter in, would you ever be able to turn back, even if you've lost your companions? Could you ever resist and turn Humans back? Humans adventure just... Adventure spirit, the spirit to adventure. I'm sure nothing to the plot. Uh, e- yeah. So, and we see the black silhouette attacking Yosro here. No, that is a Digimon, but that's not enough for me to even try to. Uh, yeah, it yeah. It's like seeing Sepik Mon's hand reaching out. Yeah. And, uh, there was no way I was going to get the Digimon just from that. Which I mean, they have been doing that more lately. They haven't been spoiling the Digimon at least, because that's the only thing I look forward to in these episodes. Yeah, think about out. that. There's episode the trailers do nothing to grab me yeah because i bet you less that will matter to the story will happen in the next episode too and there was very little that happened in this one we got an ultimate yep so as always if you like ghost game and what it's doing you'll like this episode yep if you're like us and need a story and villains and actual meaning Ooh, villains. you actually well you're, you're being going to be just as disappointed and i don't see any point on the horizon where it's going to change nope i like episode 51 this right well thank you all for watching if you made it this far thank you uh for your support make sure you like comment subscribe if you want to see more from us and as always everyone remember to be awesome till the next one take care bye bye <laughs> can't even muster the effort to <laughs> give a good way <laughs> Does it deserve it?